An interesting aspect to programming is metaprogramming. It references to the ability to change the basic building blocks of a language using the language itself to make these changes. JavaScript is already a flexible language, but with the addition of the Proxy API and Reflect API presented in ES6, it makes this even easier. Before we take a look at examples, let's gain a basic understanding of what a proxy is. Basically, a proxy allows you to override any of the default behavior for operations that may happen on an object. This includes operations like trying to set or get a key. In the table, you can see the complete list of operations that you're able to customize and override. If you'd like to read more information about each one, I've provided a link in the description to the documentation. In this video, we'll only be taking a look at a subset of these functions. To create a proxy in Java, we use the proxy constructor, which accepts two objects, the first being the object that you would like to override, and the second containing the functions that you would like to override them with. In this basic example on the screen, the get function is replaced with a custom function that prints the value to console each time it is accessed. This example can be actually useful when it comes to debugging and determining what is accessing specific properties of an object. A common question asked while dealing with proxies is what is the difference between a proxy and the Reflect API? The Reflect API implements all these functions that the API uses with default behavior. Particularly useful with proxies when you don't want to customize the behavior of all of the functions in a proxy. Sometimes you may just want to customize one or two functions. As such, you can pass the Reflect API functions so it takes the default behavior of JavaScript. Now that you have a basic understanding of a proxies, let's get into two more basic examples that might be useful when building a full stack application. In our first example, we'll be taking a look at adding custom error handling for invalid property names. By default in JavaScript, when you try to access a property that does not exist on an object, it will return an undefined value. In some cases, this may be undesirable, so we can create a proxy that checks whether the property exists, and if it doesn't, throw an error. We can easily extend upon this idea even more by adding type checking into the set function. If we have a variable that can only be a boolean, we can check if that property being set and if the type is of the correct type. If it is not, then we would throw an error, otherwise we would set the value. You can get pretty creative when it comes to error handling with proxies. For our next example, we're going to be adding some utility functions on for strings to our object. What we're going to do is if you add uppercase or lowercase as a suffix, it will return that string in its corresponding format. We're going to make a function that returns the proxy with these added properties. This will make it easy for applying it to any object where you'd like to add this functionality in. We're really only going to be modifying the get method. And we're going to do this by checking if the property ends with upper or lower. Otherwise, we'll simply do the default functionality of returning a value. If it does end with one of these suffixes, then we'll remove the suffix from the string and call the corresponding operation on it. And there we go. I hope you've gained a basic understanding of how to use the proxy API. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And in the comments below, let me know how you plan to use proxies in your future projects.